hate it when they hire Yanks to play, but you can always tell. Was that an inside joke? I don't actually know if Shirley Theron is British or not. Michael couldn't tear himself away. Could you? I can't promise. Was this her idea? Well, we got a mole problem. A mole problem? Yeah, they've undermined this whole hill. A mole. Wink, wink. Michael was falling for Rita. Well, and Rita was falling for Michael too. Nice. Not some robot you get to tell everything to. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it all. Your instructions and your lessons and your little mission and your stupid assignments. You do the math, Rita. Well, no, you do the math. <laughs> and Michael returned home. What the well. fuck is that shit, hey, man? Look at his hair. Yeah, but he's too busy going to the gym to see his friend Frank. Oh, we're more than friends. I'm kind of his spotter. Mr. Spot. <laughs> anyway, we should be looking at some big yen coming in from the Japanese, and when it does, I'm taking my gym buddy out to dinner. I barely okay, even know. Okay, man. Who's I've been wanting to have my own awkward talk as well. I think we could be more than just gym buddies. You're blowing my mind, Frank. <laughs> I'd like to work with you. <laughs> I'm so glad you went first. Uh, what agency are you with? Frank said CIA. Yeah, Government I was going to say CIA, he's not a film agency. But Tobias thought he said CAA, a talent agency that was responsible for this one. Frank's in the business, Michael. Jesus Christ. Two elderly people got badly scalded when they tried to climb into the lava cauldron, but I've got mm. Just like the poster. Grades like those, she's gonna be taking <laughs> tickets. You know she was in the Olympics? She wasn't. She's that really? Mm. Wasn't she on the cover of Newsweek? No. Yes. Michael <laughs> was thinking of this man. She even plays the banjo. <laughs> yeah, I, I I see the resemblance. That whole backside has moles. That's Frank's problem too. Later that day, Michael went into the office What's going on? Great. to find the rest of his family. Man. You know, Dad, this guy cost us a fortune. He's worth every penny. Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> Which it would have been if Michael hadn't been so busy with his English muffin. Typical. <laughs> I need a drink. English I'll muffin. English muffin. Man, <laughs> rest in peace, <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Walter. Come from a culture that values what a beauty. Goldzera! Goldzera! This needs to stop now. Roar! Okay. Roar! Sorry, I thought you were doing Godzilla. <laughs> Mom, that's enough. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Build a miniature city. Put it outside the window. Tell them it's far away. It'll look real if you squint. God knows they're squinters. What do you think, Dad? A whole tiny town. Jesus Christ. Another brilliant idea, Einstein. Really? Oh, that doesn't... That sarcasm doesn't translate. Sell the sarcasm. Yeah. Stupid idea. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. There's another brilliant idea, Steinberg. Oh, come on, man. Movie where the hero pulls on a pair of jet pants and flies off the balcony like Astro Boy. And that's when George Sr. Another idea for an escape. Jet. This room with someone in it might even be wired with a listening device. The zoom in. You need to find that leak and play. I just saw the you fucking microphone in the shot. God Maybe damn it. Somebody English. And he siphoned off the entire pension fund into a dummy corporation, filed for bankruptcy, <laughs> and you. Do you know any other songs? She's a spy. <laughs> really, is not a spy. That's okay, funny. It doesn't make any sense. Is why she's dating you. No, that's a good point. Actually, my sources tell me that the leak goes by the name Mr. F. Mr. F. Ah. Mr. F. Mr. F. F. As you know. I like that. And alias is a show about a spy. All right, that's it. I finally find someone that I really I'm, care about. My family. I'm like in uh, Buster's two cents trying to get involved. All day, anywhere you want. What do you say? Hell Tunnel takes another name. He's brushing and smoking at the same time. I'm going to take you out, Mr. F. <laughs> that's goofy. Fun and failure both start out the same way. Go ahead and rip this down. <laughs> I. 
And Larry, the surrogate, <laughs> showed up to pick up the jetpack. No thoughts. All right. Sent. Left. My left. You're right. What is the matter with this, this guy? fucking guy? I guess he's probably saying all that too. It is a <laughs> train. This tiny town. This is for tiny town, isn't it? You did like my idea, didn't you, Dad? <laughs> Actually, George Jr. <laughs> was in the kitchen trying to soothe himself with an ice cream sandwich. No! And that's when he this discovered a way guy. to possibly slip by the sensors. If Mother sees this, she will blow a cow. Oh no, he's fucked. Oh, Goody, yeah. I do want to. Yay, I do want to. Goody. <laughs> Bill was thrilled as was Buster. <laughs> Only Larry was disappointed, but he was such a pro, you'd never know it. And back in right. the gym, Tobias was finding the, out more. Oh about my the god, project, the, the fucking jeans. Well, then, Frank, I shall be a bigger, hairier mole than the one on your inner left thigh. <laughs> and later, Michael and Rita were on the. Hey? She doesn't understand about bovine sponge from a cephalitis. Muniz! Look, it's Malcolm in the middle. In the middle of shooting. I guess. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's more important to show how we make the show than to actually make it. Right. But of course, Michael thought he was talking about the train set, not the extremely dangerous jetpack the boy had just found at the front door. Well, what if I crash it? That's half the fun. <laughs> <laughs> and soon the tour Absolutely. arrived. Absolutely. Yikes. In and then he noticed her bracelet. <laughs> Why? The fuck is she wearing a bracelet of him for? Says Mr. F, doesn't it? Who is he? Nope. What is he doing? I won't tell you. <laughs> what is he? Bloody right, I do. Oh no, the fucking lava pit. You me, Rita. You made me turn against my family, but it's over now. Ah, wet. And maybe receive. I've never felt so close to you. I feel the same way. He's crying now. <laughs> Look at us. We're like a couple of girls on the last day of camp. <laughs> and right still, we're right there and just squint in, into the light and behold, sudden hill. Don't, don't. It actually looked pretty good. Even the financiers. Wow. Started. Ishiro said, I am reassured and they treat us with respect this time. Motoyoshi said, I thought the woman was pretending as a monster, but she was just out of vodka. <laughs> so as you can see, any rumor of a mole problem is completely untrue. Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, this was just as Tobias appeared in his rented mole. Oh. Yikes. <laughs> As it turned out, it was George Michael. Yeah, no. Whoa! He had gotten his grandfather's jetpack to work. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? What's going on here? Okay, that's no surprise. <laughs> George Mike, feedback. Someone else wired. Oh, that's me. My friend Frank wired me. God, you he fuck. <laughs> He thought he had something. He wanted you to be a mole. That's adorable. Oh, I've had the time of my life. I think he's being sarcastic, Joe. No, I'm not, mother. <laughs> I mean, lover. I like making love to mother. I mean, lover. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh, <laughs> look at her face. Oh, I'd really like that. It's weird. Look at her face. Man with a camera in his hat to bring us together. Oh! There's <laughs> a breaking point. Rita? I didn't Rita, see that coming. I can't stay here now. Marry me. Oh my god. Let me marry you. What? You can get a green card, you can stay here and we can just see if this works, you know. You take that. I got to leave a note. Wow. But there was one piece of oh, no. that Michael didn't have. Interesting. Don't even think about it, Jay. She's an MRF. MRF? What's that? Mentally retarded female. That explains what she's doing with him. And the oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, my God. She's going to marry him. 
I knew it! Oh, I knew he'd understand it. That's great. almost makes contact with a new mole. Not that one. Wait for it. Holy shit! And Michael and Holy shit! What's that? What? A lovely, lovely. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god. That was a fucking weird ass episode. Man. The whole British subplot has been so weird. And now I'm confused. I felt like the uncle, aka Mr. F, whatever the fuck they were calling him, from the beginning when he was like threatening him out, out on the highway and shit, I felt like he was kind of a normal guy. I felt like it was, it was leading somewhere else. He wasn't actually against George Sr. or whatever. But I'm a little confused. So why was she wearing... Oh. She had a Mr. F bracelet on because she is an MRF. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. That was a decent episode. Fucking Anyang coming out of nowhere. Anyang's back, I think. Who knows? He definitely made a, made a little cameo there. Whether he's back for good or not, I don't know. That would have been... Would that have been George's first time meeting him? I don't think so. I'm sure they've taken Anyang to prison to visit him. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Fucking scream. So now, they're gonna get married. Michael and Rita are gonna get married. I love that her... She said, I gotta write a note. And she did a little fucking, you know, a little turkey. Drew, drew a little hand turkey with a frowny face. And right when he picked it up, I started thinking, I was like, he he's going to understand it. He's going to be able to read that shit perfectly. And he did. He's going to marry him. I think that was fucking funny as fuck. <laughs> I was really curious what the hell was going on with her. Like, uh, I think it was last episode where she was just like walking around in the fucking, walking around in the kiddie pools, coming out of the wrong bathrooms. I knew there was something up with her character. But she's an MRF, so, I mean, I guess that explains some. I'm excited to see how that fucking goes. I'm really enjoying the George Surrogate plot line. I'm liking how that's being used. I think the surrogate has been used perfectly. I'm, I'm, I liked it there at the beginning. Fucking Job coming up with the idea for Tiny Town. George hitting him with the, oh, that's an excellent idea, genius. But then, obviously, the sarcasm just doesn't work. It's like trying to be sarcastic over Twitter. You don't have the right enunciation and tones of voice to, to tell that it's sarcasm. And that's why I just love that the surrogate just reads everything. Or not read. He repeats everything that George says as monotonally as possible. And I think that's fucking hilarious. And I think they've that's been a fun-ass thing to introduce this season. And I'm wondering how much further it'll go. Because George has been coming up with a lot of... A lot of escape plans. I think so far, almost every episode, he's tried to escape in one way or another. Maybe he'll get away eventually and the surrogate will be free. I think something I'm not liking so far is Bob Loblaw. I feel like he's too... He's been... He's been normal, right? He's doing his job, and I don't like that. What I liked about Barry was that he couldn't do his job because he didn't know how to do his job. And I thought that was... I miss Barry. Fuck. I can understand why... They felt like they needed to go a different direction with the the lawyer character for this arc because they would not be able to get any fucking... They would not be able to go anywhere with Barry. So they needed a more competent lawyer. So I understand that. I just think for entertainment purpose, I don't like Loblaw. I miss Barry. And I want to see him back now well i'm interested to see where else we go from here now that michael and rita are hitched so let's see how long this lasts man